Hey y'all, it's me Charity here at Lady Luck Tutorials and I'm coming at you with another fall haul. Now this one is a little bit smaller than last time and not as Halloween-y, but it's more just kind of like simple fall stuff that I just picked up in the last few days and I really wanted to show you guys. Mainly I wanted to show you y'all some awesome wax melts that I got, but really quick I wanted to show you these adorable paper towels. How cute are these? They are fall themed and pumpkin. They came two in a pack and I literally do not even wanna open them. I just wanna keep them like this, just as is and up on my counter in my kitchen because they're so cute. I don't even wanna use them. I know that's crazy, but it's true. I hate to use them. Okay, I just got some Quaker limited edition pumpkin spice oatmeal. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm so excited. I love pumpkin flavor, pumpkin spice, anything. Um, we also picked these up the other day. I never pr have purchased these before. I normally every year get the Halloween goldfish because they're the mini packs. They are my favorite. Like, I don't know why. I think they just taste better in the smaller pack. It's crazy. I love goldfish in general. But these were hilarious when we opened them. <laughs> I mean, the goldfish packages are this small too, but we was not expecting these to be this small. But these are so yummy. They're Oots Halloween mini cheese balls, and they're delicious, girl. But they're just so cute. They um have purple and orange packaging. They have like a spooky tree on it with bats and... The little Oots girl there is a witch. So we picked up these snacks. I have plans on getting a lot more Halloween snacks just for me pretty soon. So I have this sitting on my counter in the kitchen. It is a black bowl and it says Hocus Pocus. And on the inside, it is like black and white striped and gold trim. These bowls are so awesome. They have three different styles, four different styles. I can't remember. But they're in the, the dollar spot or dollar section, whatever you want to call it at Target and they're three dollars. They're so cute so get them while you can. So I have my wax melts in here. I just got three new wax melts tonight which I'm going to show you in a second but uh, we picked these up a while back. I already showed you these. The Yankee Candle. We got Spice Pumpkin. We went to Bath and Body Works and got Fireside Marshmallow. If you are a fan of Yankee Candle Ghostly Treats, I highly recommend picking up this Marshmallow Fireside because Yankee Candle does not make the Ghostly Treats anymore, and this is literally the closest thing to it, and it smells amazing. Also got Witch's Brew up in here. It is my absolute favorite, but I have a small complaint. I feel like Yankee Candle, I don't know. I feel like I can't smell their candles anymore. Like, is it crazy? Like. They used to like fill up the room for us, especially during Halloween, because we'd have everything going. But now it's like, do you smell anything? No. But I'll tell you what is really good. And I'm not knocking Yankee Candle. Obviously, I went and spent money there. But I think wax melts from Walmart, oh my God. These things work amazing, and they're 10 times cheaper. And you get a little more out of them, I would say think so okay so this is limited edition this is limited edition and this doesn't say limited edition so that's cool but um i picked this up this is the moonlit magic pumpkin i actually seen another youtuber earlier talking about this and i literally just had to go get it because i had to smell it for myself it's almost like there's a hint of sweet pumpkin it's a very odd smell i'm just gonna say that there's a hint of pumpkin in it but there's also a hint of bath and body works Mahogany teakwood, which smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. So <laughs> it smells strange, but I think it's gonna smell amazing when I melt it in my wax warmer. But it it's weird. It's got like a sweet smell and then it's kind of got a hint of cologne and some spices, but it smells like a sweet pumpkin had a baby with mahogany teakwood. Just my personal opinion. Okay, we also picked up, oh, by the way, that was Better Homes and Gardens. We picked up Mainstay's Pumpkin Spice. We have that going right now. This one smells so good. So good. These are so much smaller, but they're also like a little bit cheaper than those other ones that we showed you. Okay. Oh, we got this one at Wegmans actually, not at Walmart, I forgot. Anyways, this is Tuscany Candle brand. Haven't used them ever. And it's Harvest Pumpkin and it smells so good. It actually smells a lot like Yankee Candle Pumpkin Spice. So I cannot wait to try these. I've got 
these and my new wax warmer that I just got tonight, or we just got, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about Alan. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to show you guys my cute little wax warmer bowl that actually looked a lot cuter when it was just the little things, but I'm going to keep these out anyway because I think it's fun. So yeah, that was just a quick haul and I'm going to show you my new wax warmer. Well, I decided to give y'all just a little sneak peek of my kitchen because just so y'all know, I've taken down all the pink and blue stuff and now it's seriously all Halloween. So I'm just going to show you this little corner right here because I'm showing you where I'm keeping my napkins. But this is so cute. I've got my Hocus Pocus candle, Happy Halloween sign, a spooky tree, black pumpkin, this little thingy. This is from, where is this from? I think Bath and Body Works from last year and I've got um, pumpkin something going in it. I forget what the pumpkin's called from there. We got some apple cider donuts. These were so good, girl. These need to be moved though, because this is not part of my decor. But here is my cute pumpkin paper towels. <gasps> I really need to get like a black paper towel holder. Oh, that would be cute. Or even an orange one and put these on there and just leave it there. Yeah, so be aware y'all that my kitchen is now like legit all Halloween-y. I'm not kidding. Okay, so here's my new little wax warmer. He's super cute, it's a wall plug-in. I got it from Wegmans. I really don't like that view from the front. It's so bright, but he's super cute from the side and he's just so jolly and happy. Okay, really quick too, I wanna show y'all. Um, by the way, this is one of the other bowl options at Target and it says Bouye on the inside. And this is the other option, it just says Boo all over. But I have to show you all these candy corns. Now I posted about this on Instagram and everyone said it could be because they're gluten free. I don't know about that. I went to go buy one bag of candy corn because I, oh my God, candy corn is life. But I thought <coughs> they were too much money. So I was like, I don't want to pay that much for that bag of candy. Let me go pick this one out. So this one was cheaper. So I grabbed it. Mind you, the candy corn in the other bag, it was still this brand, but it wasn't this style. Um, and it, it was all like, all in the Halloween candy snacks and all that. They looked identical to these ones that I'm about to show you. So I don't know if it's because they're gluten free or if they just changed the recipe or changed candy corn, but I'm so insulted at these candy corn. These candy corn are double in size, which I don't like because I like eating the little tiny candy corn because I can eat more of it and not realize that I'm eating so much. So these are double in size and they're so ugly. They're just so ugly. I just can't imagine why they would ever. Can you explain to me why they're so ugly? They're the ugliest candy corns I've ever seen. And I love the look of candy corn. I think they're so cute and always so pretty. But why are these like, like they were malfunctioned? Why does that look like my nose? No, seriously, these are like they have something wrong with them. Like they got a disease or something. Why? Why did y'all do this? Now I guess it could be because they're gluten free, but I feel like it's just because they're trying to change candy corn. Because let me tell you something. This company right here changed another one of my favorite candies, which I will never forgive them for and I will never get over, Maple Nut Goodies. Maple Nut Goodies is my favorite candy in the whole wide world. Earlier this year, I was craving them so bad, I had to go down and buy me a bag. Oh my God, let me tell you. They were as hard as a rock, I felt like it was about to break my tooth and they didn't even taste the same. The texture was different. Everything was different about it. I was so disappointed. I just wanted to cry. Now you could say, oh, maybe you just got a bad batch. No. I looked it up. There's so many people on the internet complaining about the Maple Nut Goodies recipe being changed. So I'm wondering, did I get a weird bag? Is it because they're gluten free? Is it because it, it's this weird bag, even though it's cute, but it's different than traditional bags? Or are they changing the recipe? I don't know what's going on. Let me know if you've tried Maple Nut Goodies before. If you have, have you tried them lately? I actually returned the bag to Walmart. I was so insulted. I really was, even though I ate quite a few pieces. But they were bad. They were really bad. It really made me sad. How cute is he? Oh my God, did I show you all this? I just got this the other day from uh, Pier One. Isn't it adorable? It is. Oh, wait. 
Did I show y'all this? I got this from the dollar section in Target. I think you're supposed to put candy in there. But I put, it looks like he's about to throw up or like he's gagging on something. But I put a sponge in there. Eat it, pumpkin. I put a sponge in there. Probably not gonna use the sponges. I don't know. I seen somebody do it on Instagram. So I was like, oh, that's a cute idea. I'm gonna do the same. The sponge probably isn't really working for him, but it was under my cabinet, so I figured why not. Yeah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna shut up because I've yapped my jaws too much, but soon I'm going to be doing a Halloween decoration tour. Girl, we went all that this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff is amazing. If I'm telling y'all, oh, I even tasted it when I just sprayed it. So good. Tastes like a legit piece of mama's pumpkin pie. I wouldn't lie to you. Go get a can of it and smell it. You'll want to eat it. Now I have to say though, I'm kind of bummed that the scent doesn't last long. So that's why I have one, two, three, four. I have four jars, three in the kitchen, one in the living room. And every time I walk by, I spray it just so I can smell it, but it doesn't really last. So I'm kind of bummed about that. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Oh, I forgot to show you all this little mirror too. Oh my God. Y'all. On the wax warmer. Okay, I gotta go. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel now, and I will see y'all later. Bye!